stay tuned for Airgun Detectives. Hey, welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. This is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Hey, before we get started here, let me take the mystery out of this uh, Walther Paris. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I really appreciate all the feedback I've been getting and a lot of the thumbs up, so keep those coming. I really appreciate that. Check out my website when you have a chance. It's uh, to that little lowercase i right there. You click on that anytime. Just put your mouse over it, and it'll take you right to the website. But we've got a lot of cool stuff there, um, like these bipods. These have been going like crazy. I think maybe with everybody staying home and quarantining, they're doing a lot of shooting right now. So Anyway, let's talk about the uh, Walther Paris. This is a spring piston uh, gun. It's uh, German made. It's um, about a nine, a little under nine and a half pounds. It's a little under nine and a half pounds. But um, it's uh, overall, it has about a 19 and a quarter inch barrel. And this is kind of cool. It's got this half inch UNF thread. So if you want to put like a suppressor or something on the end of it, you could thread that right on here. See? which is kind of cool. Um, it has a true glow front sight here. I tell you the red sight, so it's got open sights. It's got fully adjustable open sights, so windage and elevation both. It has your 11 millimeter uh, dovetail right here, so you can mount the scope. It obviously didn't come with a scope. The gun does not come with a scope. I put the scope on there. Um, it has an automatic safety, which is back here on the back of the rifle. It's got a nice little butt butt pad on it here. Um, th this is the synthetic. They actually make this in wood too. And I'm not sure if they're going to keep making these because when, once I start seeing some of these going down in price big time, these are about $350 initially. And then uh, right now I've seen the 22 caliber for around $250 and they've got the 177s marked down all the way to like $199 for the wood version, which is nice. But the uh, synthetic version has this nice, if you can see it here, it's got this nice swollen stock for your hand right down here. It really feels good and it's textured. See the texture on here, which is really nice. Trigger is a two-stage trigger, but you can only, you can't adjust it for pull weight. The only adjustment on this is for how uh, far you want the first stage on. And that's it. You can tighten that up. Other than that, there's really no adjustment on it. They claim, I saw some reports, they claim it's about a two-pound trigger, but I'll show you in real life what the trigger actually is. Um, didn't come with the rails. These are my um, um, split bipod um, package that I put together. They're on my website if you guys are interested. But they really make a nice stable platform for shooting. In fact, I'm really used to shooting shooting with those now. But uh, overall, they're claiming this is shoots 940 feet per second. Well, we'll tell you the truth on that here in a little bit. But, and I'm sure that's with a light alloy pellet. Um, they say the cocking effort is about 39 pounds. I would say it's closer to 35 pounds. It's not too bad of a cocking effort at all. Um, what else on this? Um, as again, I said, this one is the spring piston. Um, overall, let's just see kind of how well this thing performs. And uh, without any uh, further delays, let's just move on to the next segment and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, let's test the velocity on our Walter Paris here. Uh, we're going to use the field target trophies, the 14.66. Let's go ahead and shoot uh, five shots over the chronograph and then we'll just average it out. Cocking effort is not bad on this gun. I'm going to say maybe 33, 34 pounds. All right, let's see. Shot number one. 841. Shot number two. 832. Shot number three. 826. Shot number four. 826. And our final shot.
827. Well, you know, that really actually has a pretty good standard deviation on that. So, not too bad. All right, let's move on to our next segment. Let's see how well our Paris does at our usual 20 yards. We're going to go ahead and shoot the uh, field target trophies, 14.66, are the same ones we chronoed. And let's see what type of grouping we have. We're going to do um, five shots, and uh, we're going to go for grouping here. Okay. This thing is pretty powerful. That's three. There's four, and give us one more. And five, wow, that's a pretty doggone good group. Check that out, 20 yards, Walter Paris, not bad. Let's move on to the next segment. Let's test our trigger on our Walther and see uh, what type of weight we've got here. Um, triggers on these are, a little bit on the stiff side, so let's see what we got weight wise. Okay, three pounds, 6.9 ounces. Three pounds, 6.9 ounces. Um, not too bad, but let's move on to the next segment. Try our luck with our Walther Paris here at 40 yards. Go ahead and take a look at uh, where we're shooting from. If we zoom all the way up there, you can see the a little steel targets, the little eggs, and uh, the little pigs, what have you. So we're, we're going to see how well we can do from 40 yards back. So let's go for it. dispatched. That little red pipe. And the final little pig. Let's get rid of him. Pay attention how hard this hits that pig. It definitely hits with some authority. It's our Walther Paris. Let's move on to the final segment. Let's wrap this review up on our uh, Walther Paris, and uh, it's our little conclusion here. All right, um, first of all, I'll say I like the gun. I do like it, but let's talk about the negatives first. Um, and I'm going to be picky here, as I always do. Uh, negative, they, they're they nice to put the nice little true glow sight on the front, but wouldn't it be nice if they put it on the back, too, so they don't have the, the marks on it. But still, at least it's on the front. It's a nice little red dot. If you'd like to shoot open sights and that's a good thing about this gun you have your option of either shooting open sights or mounting a scope on it um, what else is negative is this has a little bit of a recoil um, it's kind of violent recoil for the most part but uh, very manageable as you can see um, we can still actually shoot really well with it um, so the number one my number one negative on this thing is the trigger you cannot adjust the trigger weight. I have not done anything with this trigger. This is right out of the box. In fact, this whole gun is basically out of the box. I've had it for a while. I haven't shot it much. But, um, and you saw the trigger is a little over three pounds. It's totally manageable. And as far as um, brake barrels, it's a decent trigger. Not anywhere near, um, you know, some of the other ones. But uh, it is a decent trigger. 
Um, and like I said, it's, it's very, very manageable. So those would probably be my negatives. So let's talk about the positive, because the po positives. Let's start with the accuracy. The accuracy, are you kidding me? That was outstanding. You saw we basically put all the pellets through one ragged hole. I think it was, uh, it was smaller than a quarter of an inch. So that was pretty incredible. And what's really good about this gun, and there's very few that are like this, um, the SIG's one that's like this, but if you shoot at 20 yards or you shoot at 40 yards, your point of aim is exactly the same. I can tell you the majority of them is not. You have to readjust your sights. That's why it's nice to have a mil dot scope. But this one, at 40 yards, it shoots the same spot that you're shooting at 20 yards, which is fantastic. So I would say accuracy is our number one positive on this thing because it really is. Um, we got good power out of it. Um, they claim that it was supposed to get 950 feet per second. I have no doubt with a light pellet, we would have got that. So we averaged about 830 feet per second, and we got 22 and a half foot pounds of energy. So this would qualify as a Magnum type rifle. So 22 and a half is very, very, very respectable. Um, the cocking effort is not bad. I've seen them, um, some um, statements say that the uh, cocking effort's about 39 pounds on this. I think it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to guess 35, 36. That's that's uh, my best estimation. Um, the stock on this is great. This is the synthetic one, but it is a really heavy duty. It's like military quality um, synthetic. Um, this and I love the bulge in the bottom of this stock right here, and that in the, the uh, texturing. It's just great to put your hand on. It feels really solid. This, this is actually one of the better stocks that I have felt just the way it's set up. And, it, and it's ambidextrous, so it's good for the left-handers out there. So the stock is great. Um, yeah, so overall, and again, it's got the bipods on here, which makes the shooting platform just outstanding. And as you can see, it works quite well. Um, the other good thing about it, I love the fact that this is threaded. So you could actually put a suppressor on this thing if you wanted. It's the standard um, half-inch um, UNF thread, so that takes your standard little suppressor there. Um, overall, the gun, I like it. I like it. Um, it's not overly pellet picky, but the two best pellets out of this, and you saw, were the H&N, the field target trophies, the 14.66, and then I didn't show you, but I shot them um, off camera, is the JSB 14.35s. Those are the two best pellets I found that perform really, really good in this. So, how would I rate this gun? What do you guys think? Because of the trigger, so that's really my only main ne negativity, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. But the accuracy would pull is up there. And it's a quality built gun. You can feel when you cock it. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention is there is no twang. A lot of times with a spring piston, you get a lot of twang. There's no twang in this. It's very, very, very smooth. So. Anyway, so it definitely deserves the, the four and a half stars. So, hey, if you haven't, do me a favor before you leave there. Hit the subscribe button, and please give us your feedback. Um, tell us if you like what we're doing. Um, the only other thing I would like to tell you guys is I hope you're all staying healthy, and we can get everybody back to work soon, because that makes it that much better. So, until next time, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Thanks for tuning in.